listen, C.J. Gordon Johnson is going to be fine. And if you really, really want Justin Simmons, you better hurry up because time is running out. why everybody is acting like C.J. Garner Johnson is going to be gone for a month or two months. The guy is day-to-day -day with a slight shoulder injury. It's nothing serious, and it's nothing to worry about. But people are reaching out to me. People are flipping out saying, we got to hurry up and get Justin Simmons because C.J. Garner Johnson is hurt. We've got no depth. Now listen, here's the thing. I do think the Eagles should go after Justin Simmons, but it's not because C.J. Garner-Johnson is hurt. C.J. Garner-Johnson is fine, and yes, he was hurt last year, and he's had injury the year before that, but he's going to be fine. I am not worried about C.J. Garner-Johnson in the slightest. He is going to be an all-pro, stud, mortal humping, double moonwalking safety this year. But if you do want Justin Simmons, and I'm just putting it out there, if you want him, you better hope that you're going to be able to get him because he could be all but gone, all right? Uh, Ari Murov is saying this. Four-pound Broncos All-Pro Safety Justin Simmons is visiting the Pound Saints today per Nick Underhill. Uh, his confirmed visit, first confirmed visit, since becoming a free agent. So he is visiting the Saints. I don't know if the Saints are going to sign him. From what we're hearing, uh, the Saints, they're probably going to put out an awful form. They're probably going to see if he wants to come to them. And if they, you know, if he feels it's a fit, he might sign with them. If he leaves New Orleans without a contract, then Harry Roseman, you need to strike. And you need to strike first, strike her hard, strike no mercy, whatever Cobra Kai says, I forget it. But that's what you got to do. If you want Justin Simmons, you're going to have to go out and get him. Now, me personally, I think they should get him. I do. But it has nothing to do with the fear of C.J. Garner-Johnson. Because I'm seeing that used out there as justification to go out and get Justin Simmons. No, no, no. C.J. Garner-Johnson is fine. He's got a slight... Slight uh, shoulder injury, but he's fine. He'll be fine, and I, I, I wouldn't worry about it that much. Uh, I'm just I'm just saying, okay? Uh, he's going to be ready to go. Now, will he play this preseason game? No, I don't think he will, but I don't think he's something that we have to worry about too much. Uh, if you really want to be worried about an injury, I'll be honest with you. If you want to be worried about an injury, worry about Paris Campbell. Because Paris Campbell, once again, and he's been dealing with it his whole career, is injured. All right, here's the injury report for today. Eagles injury report will not practice. Uh, Oren Burke's knee, that's every day. Paris Campbell, groin. C.J. Garner-Johnson, shoulder, slight shoulder. All right, he's still, he's still around. He's still doing activities. C.J. is going to be fine. Uh, Mackey Garner hamstring, Brandon Smith concussion. Uh, now, it was a light practice for the Eagles today. And just to clarify with the C.J. Garner Johnson thing, all I'm saying, my point of, of, of the whole thing is this. Let, if we're going to go out and get Justin Simmons, go get Justin Simmons. But let's not, let's not use the excuse of C.J. Garner Johnson being hurt as the reason why. Because that's not the case, all right? Uh, C.J. Garner Johnson is fine and and he's going to be all right now for the eagles like i said there was a light practice um during uh the press conference today for jalen hurts there was a lot of hubba dubba dub about jalen hurts and the relationship with nick sirianni because i'm sure you guys saw there was a very interesting article on espn and i retweeted it and said check this out it's a good read it was a good article the problem is it's a lot about nothing. It's a lot about the same old crap year in and year out. Uh, you know, not year in and year out, but all off season about the relationship between Hurts and Sirianni. And at this point, uh, my feelings are this. I saw Jalen Hurts driving in a golf cart with Nick Sirianni smiling, and they were fine. Uh, to me, it's like 
beating a dead horse. It's like, who cares about it? The reason I retweeted the article and the reason I talked about the article was because the, what was really interesting to me wasn't about Jalen Hurts, um, you know, and Nick Sirianni's relationship. It was about Jalen Hurts calling Wink Martindale to discuss how the Giants or what the Giants saw and what they did when they beat the Eagles. I thought it was so cool that Jalen Hurts went out and talked to Wink Martindale. I thought that was really cool, and I had never heard of that happening before, where you call the rival defensive coordinator to try to get him to tell you know basically what happened and what what they did and stuff. Uh, I think that shows a lot about who Jalen Hurts is, what he is, and why he's going to be such a great quarterback this year, and why I'm betting him, and uh, you know definitely betting him for MVP. Um, but Jalen Hurts, you know, th this is what Jalen Hurts said about the Wink Martindale situation. Who held you to call Wink Martindale last year? There was a story out today that okay. you called Wink Martindale after the. Uh, last game, what was kind of behind that call? Yeah, I was uh, just trying to pick his brain, see what he saw in us, and try and get some some tips on some things. When it comes to the blitz, Wink is kind of famous for that. Did he give you any tips? Do you feel more comfortable with? Well, I think it's more so for for me trying to trying to continue to pour into my my cup in terms of knowledge, and you know, I've had a lot of respect for what he's done, and we've had a lot of success versus him. Um, I think that was a point where we were definitely trying to make a run and make a push, and I was just trying to point to my cup and knowledge from him and pick his brain on some things. And, you know, a very, a very respectable person, um, actually a great person um, in that a great coach and uh, has a great mentality about how he goes about his business. So pretty cool that Jalen Hurts did that. And then I found out that the Eagles offensive staff, they did the same thing and they talked to Wink Martindale. Why didn't they hire him for defensive coordinator? Uh, to me, he was the guy I wanted at defensive coordinator. I like I like his his scheme a little more than I like Vic Fangio's scheme. But I, I'm I, I like Vic Fangio, so you know hopefully we'll be fine. But the whole article with Hertz and Nick Sirianni, I I don't care about the the strain in the relationship and the past and all that stuff. I the only reason I retweeted the article was and, and I thought it was a good article and it was a lot of information that should have you know could have come out in March and it would have been a lot more interesting. But I just thought it was cool that he contacted Wink Martindale. I I really like that. Now as far as practice went, today was the fourth of a four day stretch of practices for the Eagles. Last practice before they play the first preseason game on Friday, which we will be live streaming. Um, but it, it, it wasn't that, that intense. Um, here were the Eagles' first team defense on 11-11s. We keep track of this every day. All right. Seventh day starting across from my, uh, Darius Slay, the seventh day in a row, Isaiah Rodgers. Isaiah Rodgers is clearly the starting outside corner or leading uh, the pack right now. Uh, remember, we haven't played any preseason games yet, so things can change according to that. But right now, he's starting. Uh, tenth day in a row for Zach Bond and Devin White. I think that Zach Bond is your starter. And then Quinion Mitchell starting in the slot. I'm telling you what, I saw... Uh, Cooper DeGene walking out there, Isaiah Rogers looked fine. He better get his pads on because it looks like Quinion Mitchell may be date week one starter in the slot. That means Avante Maddox is your backup slot corner. That means DeGene is your third string corner. So, you know, for those that are worried about a safety, uh, you don't go out and get Justin Simmons. He signs with New Orleans today. You know what? Let's give some reps to Cooper DeGene when he comes back to... Uh, to, to save at the safety position. Give him some reps, okay? Um, now, C.J. Gardner-Johnson, like I said, missed his second straight practice. Um, Vontae Maddox uh, was also playing safety, I believe, at times uh, as well. Um, let's see. So, Bradbury, Vontae Maddox getting times at safety. Uh, C.J. Gardner-Johnson is missing his second straight practice. Avante Maddox with the ones during defensive drills. Mekhi Becton still looking for the first team right guard, Tyler Steen. We'll talk about the offense in a second. But uh, defense, Bradbury getting reps. Avante Maddox getting reps as a second string starter, I believe. And Cooper DeGene comes back. Throw him in their safety or go get Justin Simmons. I have no problem with it. Just 
don't put it on that C.J. Garner Johnson is is somehow really injured and, and we're going to have to replace him. I don't want that talk. I don't like that talk. I don't even want to play with it. We go get Justin Simmons because we need Justin Simmons. It has nothing to do with C.J. Garner Johnson. That's all I'm saying. I want to, I don't want I want nothing bad to happen. You know what I'm saying? Now, speaking of bad, um, <laughs> there was a stretch where um, you had Hurts. He hits Dallas Goddard on a nice play. Uh, and uh, this is what Brandon Lee Gowden said. I, I don't know how else to put this. I'm going to read this comment to you, and you tell me what you think. Jalen Hurts to Dallas Goddard for a touchdown over the middle. Look like Nicobe Dean was trailing coverage. Once again, that's what he writes. Once again. So, to me, I look at that and I go, Jalen Hurts to Dallas Goddard for a touchdown. Great. Nicobe Dean in coverage. Trailing in coverage. Once again. Do we have a Nicobe Dean problem? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not saying anything to week one. To see where he is, maybe he goes out there and he kills it. In, um, in you know, maybe he goes out there and he kills it in preseason, and then he he takes a starting spot, and then it, everything is fine. I don't know. We'll we'll see. But it just seems like seems like every day he's trailing coverage, and when they start saying once again, that means it's it's happening every day. It's happening more than once. I don't like that. I really really worry about that okay um and, and, and it was funny because Brandon Lee Gowton posted that and then he posted this like like a player two later Jeremiah Trotter Jr. was in good position to make a tackle to keep Tyron Davis Price out of the end zone after a play action pass on the flat in the flat Zach Bonner ran up to Trot and praised him for not getting tricked because Jeremiah Trotter Jr does not make the same mistake twice. His coaches have said that. He is coming on. He is rising up this depth chart. And do not be surprised if soon, soon, he starts getting more reps than Kobe Dean. But we'll see. So that's kind of where we are defensively. Uh, on the offensive side of the ball, Jalen Hurts, congratulations, broke the record. He, he's got the record for the most completions without an interception uh, in training camp. Who had it before that? Who the hell knows? I didn't even know it was a real step. But he hit Dallas Goddard on a nice uh, a, a nice throw. Uh, Jalen Hurts pretty much, Brandley got real, pretty much having as good of a training camp as one can realistically hope for. Could be poised for another big year. You're absolutely right. Now, the other issue that I see on offense, right? Because I, I just talked about C.J. Garner-Johnson. Don't get worried about the C.J. Garner-Johnson and the shoulder thing, right? But I do think it's fair to worry about Paris Campbell and his groin. He missed another practice. He's probably not going to play preseason uh, opener. And, and Jeff Mosher wrote this. Not a great sign that Paris Campbell, who's been held back by injuries for much of his career, is again out of practice. Not great for him or for the Eagles. And and, and I have to agree with him. Uh, he's had a lot of injury problems before. He just had. He just has. Uh, however, the bright spot is Johnny Wilson's going to play. Brent and Covey, they're going to play. Those guys are going out. And I think it's realistic right now to say, no, Paris Campbell isn't your slot wide receiver. He isn't your number three right now. It could be very well Brent and Covey. I want to see Johnny Wilson between the 20s during uh, Friday night's game. And we don't know if the starters are going to play yet because um, Sirianni hasn't made the decision. Apparently the weather is going to be bad. But I want to see Johnny Wilson go out there, get a chance between the 20s, and I want Kobe to get a chance. Right now, the way I see it, put Kobe in there as your number three wide receiver between the 20s. In the red zone, you put Johnny Wilson in. That's how I would do it. you know. And, and we'll see. Now remember, tomorrow... The Eagles have a walkthrough, so I won't be streaming early. I might stream in the during the afternoon, but not early. And then um, Friday is the game, and of course I will be streaming that. And then Saturday is probably going to be a day off. So uh, very interesting things, what's going on with the Eagles. But we are, what, two days away from the first preseason game. Cannot wait. With that said, take care. Talk to you later, of course. Don't be a dingbag. Remember, it's how we vision. We're all just living in it.
You know, you learn something every day. I just learned what booger sugar is. Did you know what booger sugar is? Never knew what the hell it was. Now I know. It's all white powder stuff. The stuff that they used to put in old Coca-Cola classic, classic. I don't know. I never had booger sugar before. But the question is, somebody said, why don't you try it to help you sleep? So you, you don't take that to help you sleep. That'll make my heart explode. I ain't taking that. No way I would ever take that. You know, I won't even take melatonin. You know, I just count, I count, I count my, uh, I count my, uh, you know, what the hell, they, the, the cows over the moon, over, I'll, count, I'll count my fallen cowboy stars, because they stink, there's a wash it out. Hi, Michael Anthony, fitness hit MAF. Oh, folks. The brother screwed us!